In this video, we'll discuss how to create transparent image and text overlays for your iMovie videos. We'll start by first taking a look at the transparent image overlay. This image of a lobster and a beverage is what we'll be using for this demonstration. The first step in creating transparent image and text overlays is to create a green background. This can be done in most graphic editors. iMovie allows you to then set a configuration that will recognize the green background and make the image or text transparent. It doesn't have to be an exact color of green, just a certain shade of green. You'll see from my examples several that work. The first thing you'll need to do is open the image in a graphics editor. I use GIMP, which is a free open source graphics editor. In GIMP, I can use the free select tool to circle around the image, select the inverse, and then I can change the background color. As I had mentioned earlier, you may use most shades of green and it will work with iMovie. Once I was finished adjusting my image with GIMP, it looked like this and it is now ready to be used with iMovie. First, I'll choose an iMovie background over which I'll lay the transparent image. Next, I'll import the file of the lobster that I created from GIMP into my media. Once I've done that, I can now place it into the project over the background. The final important step is to go into the video overlay settings and choose the green blue screen. Now you're all set to go. Let's play it and see what it looks like. Let's discuss how to create a transparent text overlay. We will be using Keynote for this demonstration. The process for creating a transparent text overlay is very similar to that of an image overlay. First, I'll start by creating the text that I want. Next, I'll format it to my needs. bumping up the font size a little bit. Now I'll go ahead and add the green background image. This is the range that I usually shoot for when adding my green background. And finally I'll create some animation for my text. This is for the build-in, and this will be for the build-out. And I just bumped up the duration a little bit. And now I'll go ahead and save the file. and I'll export it to a movie so that I can use it with iMovie. And I usually choose the highest resolution. And now I'll go ahead and open up iMovie and use the same project that we used before with the image and go ahead and import that movie I just recreated into my media. 
I'll extend the length of the background a little bit here. Once I add the background, excuse me, once I, once I add the text, and I'll make the important setting to the green and blue screen. And now we'll go ahead and take a look. And you'll see the transparent image, it's transparent text overlay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful.